means no house, no savings, no holidays, and now no wife. So I hope you'll forgive me when I say that I would rather have boiling hot wax poured over my nipples and a Moulinex multi-speed electric whisk shoved down my trousers than throw myself into my work. Well, don't forget the grand opening next week. Cyril, you can stick your grand opening up your grand opening. <laughs> There's no need for that. Le Chateau, cooking food, these aren't the important things in life. They just don't matter in the general scheme of things. Oh, well, then why do I pay you so much? That's beside the point. No. <laughs> what is it that you really want, son? In the words of the late, great Freddie Mercury, I want to be free. <laughs> free? To do what? To suck on life's rich marrow. Oh, there's no need for mucky talk. <laughs> Cyril, I want to go on holidays. Cheap package holidays where you drink too much, dance the conga and end up eating things bigger than your own head. I want to go out one night and come back three nights later with a massive hangover, six stitches down my forehead and a picture of Gaza tattooed on my left buttock. <laughs> I want to be Sean Connery abseiling down tower blocks, swimming underwater in my jockey shorts and calling beautiful women bullshit for no particular reason. <laughs> I want to go off and discover a world where I don't have to go into a kitchen and shout at people. I just want out. Well, you wouldn't last five minutes outside this place. Perhaps it's time I found out. What do you mean? Gareth, what are you doing? <laughs> Please consider that my letter of resignation. <laughs> You've been under a lot of pressure. Take the rest of the day off. My God, this is so liberating. I should have done this years ago. <laughs> Calm down, Gareth. But think of everything you've worked for. What about your little Michelin Man stars? Give them to someone who needs them. Keith Floyd's number's in the book. <laughs> but what about the grand opening? It won't work. Janice won't have your back. She hates you. She told me so. <laughs> you spoke to my wife? Well, she rang me uh, for a reference. It was her that told me about you two splitting up. Where is she? I don't know. She just left a phone number. Hand it over. Oh, she made me promise I wouldn't give it to you. <laughs> Hand it over, <laughs> or the lot comes off. <laughs> Shopping channel. I wonder if you could. Janice, please don't put the phone down. There's some things we need to talk about. Well, the division of communal property wasn't exactly top of my agenda, but. Uh... No, not now. I'm busy. No, Janice, not you, please. Gareth, open up. If this is about money, we can talk. Money's got nothing to do with it. No, Janice. No, I know you and I have to discuss money. It's... I'm a reasonable man, Gareth. How does an extra five grand a year sound? Will you go away? No, Janice, not you. <laughs> we should get together and discuss things. We really okay, should. ten grand. But you're really screwing me. I wouldn't screw you, Janice. No. <laughs> no, that's. Look, it's similar. Neutral ground, okay. I'll pick you up about eight o'clock. I'll think of somewhere. OK, bye. That's my final offer. And I need to know the answer right now. Is it yay or is it nay? No! Oh! <laughs> Do I take it that's a nay? <laughs> One word. Friday night. The big bash. Any cock-ups and you're all out on your jacksies, am I understood? I'm sorry, what is it I do with my jacksy? Talk through it, Savannah. <laughs> Which brings me to my second point. Due to uh, personal problems, Mr Blackstock will not be available for the foreseeable future. Uh, Mr Bryson, sir, how long exactly is the foreseeable future? Anything up to the next 40 years, he's resigned. He's resigned! He's resigned! He's resigned! He's resigned! He's panic. Did England panic when Gascoigne got injured? No, but they were crap. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you won't be. And I'm going to appoint a new chef de cuisine to take over from Mr Blackstock. <sighs> Mr Bryson, sir, I believe I speak for all of us when I say that under the circumstances surrounding Garrett... Mr Blackstock's departure, 
I don't believe any of us would feel comfortable taking over his position. Oh, that's a shame, Pet. I was thinking of offering you the job. <laughs> me? Mm -hmm. Me? Oh, yes! <gasps> yes! <laughs> hey, hey! Ho, ho! Yo, Savannah, where'd you go? Hey, hey! <laughs> Chef! Oh. Go away, Cyril. I don't get out of bed for less than 320 million a year. <laughs> it's me, Chef. Everton. Oh. Chef. 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 <laughs> 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 I just thought you could use some company, that's all. Just the ten of us? <laughs> <laughs> Had the decorators in then? I suppose you've heard. What about you and Mrs. Blackstock? No? <laughs> well, maybe I've heard a bit. She's left me. That's the bit I heard. <laughs> Says she needs more space. <laughs> How much more space? An entire postal code, apparently. <laughs> she says she's gonna divorce me. She thinks I'm selfish, arrogant, small minded. Inconsiderate to other people's feelings? Well, feel free to contradict at any point. <laughs> Women, eh? You can't live with them. Can't even meet them, actually. <laughs> if only I could convince her that I've changed. Maybe you should try being honest, chef. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, how are things in the kitchen? Pandemonium, I'll bet. No? Savannah's got everything under control. <coughs> <laughs> Savannah? Yes, chef. She's the new chef, chef. My God, that's like making Flipper the captain of the Titanic. <laughs> oh, well, good luck to her. No chance of you coming back, then? None whatsoever. What? Not even as a customer, chef? I need more counterfeit. I need a drink. Where are the tomato tarts? I asked for more mini tomato tarts. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you'd like to take your seats, dinner is about to be served. <laughs> yeah. Remember me? I'm the son you never had. How are things, father? What are you doing here? This is a private party. There's no traitors allowed. I understand. Gareth, what are you doing? What does it look like? There are photographers everywhere. Great, this will sell a few copies of Hello! magazine. <laughs> All right, you can stay. Just promise you'll keep your kit on. You're too kind. You know Janice? Yeah. Cyril? Yeah. We'll see ourselves to our table. Agreed on neutral ground. It is. I've resigned. Bully for you. Now, my solicitor has drawn up a blueprint for the division of property. I'd like you to take a look. Half the current account, half the deposit account, half of the furniture, half the CD collection. <laughs> Blimey, Janice, I'm surprised you haven't asked for one of my. If they're of any use to me, Gareth, I would have. <laughs> Janice, you know, your leaving is the best thing that could have ever happened to me. Good. At least it won't be an acrimonious divorce. It's been a life-changing experience. I realise how much I've missed out on all these years. About the flat, I suggest that either we sell it or, alternatively, you can buy me out. But now I want to make amends, Janice. I want us to take holidays, make new friends, start a family. I've had a restaurant, I've had a career. Now I want a life. What's that got to do with me? My solicitor says you're entitled to half of it. 